Under my plan, I'll be reducing taxes tremendously from 35 percent to 15 percent for companies, small and big businesses. That's going to be a job creator like we haven't seen since Ronald Reagan. It's going to be a beautiful thing to watch. Companies will come, they will build, they will expand, new companies will start, and I look very, very much forward to doing it. We have to renegotiate our trade deals, and we have to stop these countries from stealing our companies and our jobs. Now, in all fairness to uh, Secretary Clinton, Yes. Is that okay? Good. I want you to be very happy. It's very important to me. And now, you want to approve Trans-Pacific Partnership. You were totally in favor of it. Then you heard what I was saying, how bad it is, and you said, I can't win that debate. But you know that if you did win, you would approve that. Hope you called I... it the gold standard of trade and deals. You, you know said what? it's the finest deal you've ever seen. No. And then you heard what I said about it, and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, Donald, I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not the facts. The facts are, I did say, I hoped it would be a good deal, but when it was negotiated, not. which I was not responsible for, I concluded it wasn't. I will release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes when she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted. As soon as she releases them, I will release, I will release my tax returns. I think Donald just criticized me for preparing for this debate. And yes, I did. And you know what else I prepared for? I prepared to be president. And I think that's a good thing. And the birther lie was a very hurtful one. You know, Barack Obama is a man of great dignity, and I could tell how much it bothered him and annoyed him that this was being touted and used against him. But I like to remember what Michelle Obama said in her amazing speech at our Democratic National Convention. When they go low, we go high. And Barack Obama went high, despite Donald Trump's best efforts to bring him down. You don't know who broke in to DNC, but what did we learn with DNC? We learned that Bernie Sanders was taken advantage of by your people, by Debbie Wasserman Schultz, look what happened to her. I have much better judgment than she does. There's no question about that. I also have a much better temperament than she has. You know, I have a much better. I think my strongest asset, maybe by far, is my temperament. I have a winning temperament. I know how to win. She does not have Secretary how to win. Clinton. Wait, the AFL-CIO the other day, <clears throat> behind the blue screen, I don't know who you were talking to, Secretary Clinton. But you were totally out of control. I said, there's a person with a temperament that's got a problem. Secretary Clinton. Whoa, OK. <laughs> and I don't believe that Hillary has the stamina. Let's let her respond. As soon as he travels to 112 countries and negotiates a peace deal, a ceasefire, a release of dissidents, an opening of new uh, opportunities in nations around the world, or even spends 11 hours testifying in front of uh, a congressional committee. He can talk to me about stamina. The world. But this is a man who has called women pigs, slobs, and dogs, and someone who has said pregnancy is an inconvenience to employers who has said, said women don't deserve equal pay unless they do as good a job as Insane. men. And one of the worst things he said was about a woman in a beauty contest. He called this woman Miss Piggy. Then he called her Miss Housekeeping because she was Latina. Donald, she has a name. Where did you find her? Her name Where is did Alicia you find Machado. Where did you find and her? she has become a U.S. citizen, and you can bet oh, really? she's going to vote okay. this November. Okay, good. Let me just tell you. Let me tell you.